I'm going to show you how to use AWS Academy to set up your Ubuntu uh, Linux environment. So first thing you need to get into AWS Academy Learners Lab. So this is basically the student view, so you can click on modules. And once you're in the module, you can launch AWS Academy Learners Lab. So if this is your first time you log in, so you have to accept the uh, turn and conditions, so you click on agree. Once you have seen that, so this is basically you will, you will get into the AWS console. So you can click on start and you can see the change from red to yellow. So that does take some time to get everything all set it up. And this is the, the first time, so it uh, takes a lot of time. And this is basically what's so-called AWS Learn Academy Learners uh, Lab console. So you will be able to see everything set up like this. So you can see it will be set up $50 credits for the semester. And as you use more, uh, then this is going to be increased depend upon uh, the usage of how you use the, this uh, AWS Academy Learners Lab. And once you finish everything, then you can click on End the Lab. So you can also look at uh, AWS details and if you can scroll down on the right, you will be able to see all the services that provide in AWS Academy Console. So one of the things we're interested in is to determine like uh, what the EC2 uh, cloud and you will be able to say what's the maximum uh, capacity you will be able to use. Um, so specifically, you are be able to say that we can use the region in US East dash one. So I believe um, they have the EC2 instance is available for some of the instance that let me say whether it's a cloud nine. Let me maybe be move up. So one of the things we're going to set up is cloud nine. So you can see this is the largest the C4X large instance we will be able to use for uh, AWS Cloud9. So that does take some time and um, you know, not all instances are support by uh, this uh, computation type, uh, but if you use EC2, uh, you can use maybe a little faster CPU. Since uh, Cloud9 is easy interface that will allow you to learn a little bit about the Linux commands so let's say that does take a little while so um it can if you're interested you can scroll down to to find all the uh aws services available for academy learners lab so for this class we're mainly interested in aws um, uh, Cloud9 and they are maybe something we may be interested in Kinesis that's basically using for the data analytics uh, with AI tools. Uh, their recognition you can say you can use for detect the face and detect different labels and uh, yeah it's a pretty interesting stuff you will be able to find if you want to train in the data set you can use the Sage Make. Okay now you can see AWS showing as screen, so you can click on this and open a new window. So things I've used before, let's close that. Let's really click on that. So now you will be able to see this interface is called AWS Console. It's different than AWS Academy Console. So this is the place we're gonna find all the services. As we said, we're gonna type Cloud9, so we can click on that and uh, then we can click on create environment we're going to call this one as ubuntu then we're going to remember we said we're going to select additional type since we're using cloud9 we have to find the c4x large which is largest instance we will be able to find one thing you need to be noted is that we have to use ubuntu server 22.04 selects ssh shell so all the stuff have been said click on create so it's as simple as that you can click on open so that's going to set up uh, aws cloud 9 linux console um this is ubuntu 22.04 and if you are just interested in learning linux terminal commands this terminal will be good enough uh, but if you're interested to set up uh, 
like uh, Ubuntu desktop, you want to see the graphic user interface. So we're going to have to get into this um, GitHub link called uh, lby tempo forward slash chrome underscore Ubuntu. So we're going to copy paste each of this line and paste into the terminal window once it's set it up. So let's say this is now terminal window, so we can click on this plus um, uh, in the green. So we're going to select the new terminal. So this is basically everywhere you're going to type or copy paste different Linux terminal commands. So this is going to update all the registry so you will find the newest software where the stored at. So now once we have seen that, the next thing is what we're going to do is we have to expand Linux storage a bit large so this is two commands is going to allow us to expand storage size and then this is the command we're going to do uh install ubuntu desktop um so let's go back here so as you can see this one does take some time so we let it run for a little bit and um so if you want to use uh, ubuntu um in chrome so what we need to do is we have to set up a um, um, Google user account. You can use Temple user profile. As you can see, I'm using the school profile in here, but I'm going to show you um, to how to set up a Google Chrome. Um, you will be able to see the graphic user interface on the browser. But right now, um, we can just take a look at that. You can see that it does take some time to install the Ubuntu desktop. Um, we just have to wait for the thing to be completed. Okay, so as you can see, the Ubuntu desktop has been in, uh, installed. So if you just want to learn Linux command, if you feel it's okay to use this terminal window, certainly it's fine. But if you really want to use graphic user interface, so this is the next few commands I'm going to show you how to set up a graphic user interface. So what we're going to do is copy those two commands from this GitHub. Then I'm going to copy paste. So that is doing the installation. Uh, then we're going to copy the next two commands. And once it's done in here, we will copy those two commands into here. So it's pretty straightforward. And we're going to copy paste those two and hit enter. That's going to install the remote desktop on, uh, using Chrome. So once everything's done, so we're going to do a sudo reboot. Uh, it's just as simple as this, and uh, you can see it's reconnecting uh, since it's running on the cloud, so the reboot should be pretty fast. So uh, once that is done, we're going to uh, copy those two commands to set up a uh, uh, Chrome remote desktop session um, once the terminal commands are ready. So it's just as simple as this. Uh, it should be pretty quick. Okay, so now you can see we're going to do this. All right, obviously, uh, wherever you're learning in the class how to run the Linux command using terminal window, you certainly can do that. But since we're interested in to look at this uh, Ubuntu graphic user interface, so we're going to copy this URL, but want to make sure we log into our personal Gmail account. So it's going to open new window. So you can see that it's uh, now using Temple um, credential. So what we can do is we're going to set up uh, a new computer and we can click on next. So we're going to authorize to use a computer. So you can actually do all kinds of uh, computer is a Windows or Linux. So we can just copy the Linux command back into the cloud nine in here. So you basically authorize um, the Chrome to access the so Ubuntu desktop in here. So what I can do is I put a six digit um, 
pin code so we can try to do something really easy uh, so you can see everything installed successfully i want to make sure the service is ready so that's why it's called the system control status and it is a particular service that's running um, chrome remote desktop service you can see it is running active um, so now we also want to uh, change it to root user by typing sudo su so now if you see this hash that basically means you're in the root terminal uh, then what we need to do is to give a password uh, or change the password for the user ubuntu so you can give um, a password so you hit enter then you retype it to confirm the password so everything's changed successfully it's really simple and easy so now the moment the truth is we want to see how the graphic user interface look like so we come back into here so we click on the remote access so you will be able to see there are few access in there so what we can take a look at that is if you highlight that in here you will see 172 31 um 35 75 so let's take a look at we have this computer in here so you can see 35 75 which is should be here 35 75 so now basically means i have this one i'll set it up so i have another computer i can i have a service running so in here i just click on this then that basically i need to put the pin code i just set and that get everything connected so i'm going to start setup and click on next next click on start using and uh, so this is the basically it and if you close the thing and you want to try to um, go back there again uh, sometimes they will ask you for the pass password um, so what we can do is let's go back to this url so let me try to show you how it look like remote access click on this and i'm going to type the ping and once we log in um sometimes pretty good once you if you if it ask you for user name you can certainly do that you can see everything is um, graphic user interface so if you click on here you will be able to say there's environment uh, folder so if you click on this you will be able to get into the folders so similarly if you go back to the cloud 9 so you will be able to say uh, we're in the environment folder and there are a couple files that's exactly matching the file in the folder <coughs> you can see those four files here as four files here so it's really easy to see how uh, if you want to add a new file in here and you can add a new folder so for example we can say test um, that basically will create this folder called a test so if we want to make a directory so say another test so you can see once you do this you will be able to see we have a folder in here so it depends upon how you want to do it and you some people may prefer using graphic user interface using ubuntu desktop version uh, some of you may be feeling it's much more easier to type the command uh, in the terminal window so this is basically how you will be able to set up a chrome a remote desktop and hope you enjoy it